Hello friends, today I will tell you how to create a waveform in LabVIEW and how to change its frequency and how to change its amplitude. So first there are different methods to create a waveform in LabVIEW. So first I just go to ExpressVIE and in this I have simulate signal. I just choose this. This is the Express VI. Over here, you can check the frequency and amplitude. So, you can choose out of these waves like square wave, triangular wave, sawtooth wave, or a DC wave. And over here, you can change the samples per second. Right now, I'll just use this condition. And just put OK. So over here I am using sine wave, and this is the frequency control, and this one is the amplitude control. And I just use a chart over here, and I just connect this to the chart. And for continuous signal, I just use a while loop over here and just run it. Create a stop button for this. So, in the real time, using this Express VI, I can change the amplitude of the signal. And as you see, when I hit on run button, it is running very fast. So, I use a delay of let 100 milliseconds so in this case as you see it is also very fast so I use 1000 so it will take some time so it is not clear very clear so I just change the properties of waveform chart over here in this case y is auto indexing i just remove auto indexing of y scale and also x scale so over here it is let 10 and this one is let 2 and this one is minus 2 minus 2 okay so if you want to check it clearly so as i hit on run button as you see sine wave is created and when i increase the amplitude amplitude is also increased when i decrease the amplitude the property of chart is this it require only a value a value it get it just plays plot it but in case of graph it require an array so when i increase the frequency as you see and when i decrease the frequency there is a change okay so this is the first part how you can create a waveform in lab view and how we can increase or decrease the frequency or increase or decrease the amplitude of that wave okay so now i just go to the different part i just delete this now in this case I just use a mathematical function in which I use a sine wave this one trigonometric and over here I have a sine wave so if you want to create a continuous wave in this case I just connect this one and I just use some constants 
2 pi this one multiplied by this and this function should be divided. And if you want to change the frequency, I just not this 2 pi, I just delete this, just connect this, and this will, this will give me the frequency. Okay, so initially, let it is 0.1. It is gone, not point 0.1. So I just put a condition over here when this f is equal to zero. When this f equal to zero, it will stop my program. So for that purpose, I use OR gate. It will stop my program or just delete this. So by I will I can stop my program using this condition by pressing stop button or if the F is zero it will also stop my program so this will goes to sine wave and over here if i want to change the amplitude or uh, not addition i require a multiplication over here so it will create a control and this will give me the amplitude and I just use a chart over here and connect this one and it will give me the waveform so as I increase this and in this case I just put 10 and the auto indexing should be off x scale is also off and over here this is minus 10 to 10 when the amplitude is let to 1 and when i hit on run button it will create a sine wave for me so in this case it will give the values from minus 1 to 1 so i just change it to 2 and minus 2 so that is it is more clear so when i hit on again run button and i increase the frequency so in this case the program as some error like over here I just use a divide function in place of this multiply so I just delete this use a divide function in place of this and this one is connected to this and this one connected to F control V. So right now when I hit on run button, so as you see, there are some errors still exist in my program. So first, I should re resolve this 
so when equation is 0 it is divided by 1 10 and it goes to this one and this value is multiplied by 1 the program is okay in this case so I just use frequency 100 in this case and when I hit on run button it should be auto x scale should be on auto scale so when I put 1000 in this case I should change the delay also. It is very large value. I should put the value 100 in this so that it works smoothly. So as you see right now the sine wave and when I change the value of frequency you can check the sine wave in this case and when I increase the amplitude as you see so using this right now the program is ready and when I change the frequency you can check okay so this is how we can create a waveform in LabVIEW using different methods. Thank you.